It's Wednesday afternoon and Wall Street ends flat. But after hours, Qualcomm earnings are in and they aren't good. Wall Street reacts to the shocking news as Wall Street sees Qualcomm miss on revenue. Meantime, our way of the highway? The White House says they're willing to talk. But insiders say no. The bill is finalized. $1.9 trillion stimulus package will be coming to you shortly. And it's being anchored by a reconciliation bill that was finalized yesterday. Meantime, Nancy cuts the telephone line. One of the Democrats tried to butt into a discussion about stimulus to talk about redistricting. Redistricting. And Nancy <laughs> says, cut it out. We're not doing that right now. Old Nancy is back in force. Meantime, teach without a vaccine? The controversy continues to heat up. Gavin Newsom, the Democrat governor of California, says not going to happen. But the CDC head from Joe Biden fires back, says, get into classes. You don't need a vaccine. You can teach without a vaccine. What do you think? Meantime, the Golden Globes are announced, and a history is made for women. This is a major afternoon's recording of Afternoons LLite. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Afternoon's LLA. From Wall Street to Main Street, from my home to your home, thank you for joining the most comprehensive financial news channel, recording 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, I have a lot to go over, but first, make sure you subscribe, because you're not going to get the breadth of reporting, the comprehensive details, or the interactivity anywhere else. Make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Members get access to documents before anyone else to ensure you get stimulus before anyone else. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The link is in the description, at the top of the chat, and also underneath the video. In this video, I'm going to go over why Qualcomm missed on earnings, then the shocking developments from the White House. Is it their way or the highway? Meantime, the hilarious exchange between Nancy and a fellow one of her Democrats on the phone. Did she cut the telephone lines because the person was out of bounds? Then, teach without a vaccine. Are teachers being urged to go into classrooms to teach without a vaccination? Finally, Golden Globes makes history. So much exciting news, and I'll have the, all the details about your stimulus starting right now. This are the breaking news. The breaking news as you start this afternoon is that your second stimulus bill is law, and now your third stimulus package will become law. It's not a question of how or will, it's a question of what day. What happened? Yesterday, a procedural bill was approved. That procedural bill creates a metaphor that I, a metaphor that I describe on this channel as a tow truck with a tow hitch. Yesterday, the tow truck was approved. It's a call to reconciliation. What it does is it says, hi, I have a bill behind me on the tow hitch, and I need to get that bill to become a law. The bill, the tow truck says, we're going to modify the rules so I only need Democrats to pass the bill. Yesterday, that bill, the reconciliation, was approved, the tow truck. Now, the tow truck will pull the bill on the tow hitch behind it over the finish line. The bill behind it is the $1.9 trillion stimulus package from Joe Biden. The procedural vote yesterday allows the $1.9 trillion stimulus package from Joe Biden to become law within a few days. Nothing can block it because all you need is the Democrats to vote in favor of it. And you're done. It's not an issue of how or will. It's a question of what day. So what will you be getting? $1,400 stimulus check for an individual. $2,800 for a married couple. $1,400 for a child. $3,200 for adult dependent. If you are on any type of benefits like Social Security, you get the same amount of check, whether it's $1,400 
or $20, $3,200 if you're an adult dependent. FPUC will be slightly retro back to January and then continuing forward $400 a week to September along with UI and PUA extended as well. That means that if you are unemployed all the way to September, you will be paid in FPUC alone about $16,000 to $18,000. And on top of your UI to PUA, could see you being paid somewhere between twenty dollars to $30,000 in unemployment assistance during this pandemic. The remaining provisions of the $1.9 trillion stimulus package are detailed in the video after this. But procedurally, it's now been finalized. So what does that mean? And what's going on? I have those details coming up in a second. But first, Wall Street ended flat for the day. Qualcomm, however, after hours, really missed on revenue. While it bid on, beat on earnings $2.9 a share versus $2.10 as estimated by the street, revenues fell low. They came in at $8.23 billion versus what Wall Street was expected at $8.27 billion. Meantime, is it our way or the highway? It ostensibly is. Today, Wall Street continued, excuse me, today, White House continued to play this walk and dance and saying they want to hear from the Republicans, but they ultimately said we're not changing anything. What you need to understand is that ultimately you're going to see exactly the $1.9 trillion stimulus package, but over the next few hours or days, you're going to hear we're willing to hear, we're willing to talk, but they're not changing anything. Democrats won't be changing a single penny. Jared Bernstein, after home LLA at 12 noon today, gave a statement saying that the $1.9 trillion stimulus package is sufficient but not particularly robust enough. Reconciliation doesn't mean no Republicans join the plan. There's a lot of common ground. <laughs> but on the other hand, doesn't mean we're holding up the bell if you don't join us. The economy will not get back to full, full employment very quickly without the stimulus package. You can't judge our plan, our success, by looking at GDP, not even looking at unemployment rates. This is after yesterday's report, detailed on this channel, from the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, that said GDP will grow. Bernstein, Biden's advisor on the economy, says GDP does not mean much of anything when it comes to stimulus. Fascinating. So what else happened today? Well, today, the White House had a press conference. And during that press conference, they were asked whether they'd be willing to listen to things from the Republicans. Sure, we'll be willing to listen. Are you changing the stimulus check? No. Are you changing the 1.9? No. Are you changing any of the deal provisions? No. <laughs> but we're willing to listen. Bottom line is, it's $1.9 trillion. That's your bill, and it's now about to become law. The day started with Joe Biden doing what anyone would expect him to do. Have a conference call first with House Democrats and then have a conference call with House uh, with Senate Democrats. Let's stick together. I have your back and you'll have mine, said Biden. I'm not going to start by making by breaking a promise to the American people. He Chuck Schumer also said we want to do it bipartisan, but we're not going to wait around. We can't dawdle or delay or dilute. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the opening lines to a new Broadway musical. I think we leave open the possibility to talk, but we're not going to sit around and not talk and not move. Meantime, it was ostensibly his way or the highway, and it remained that way. And ironically, the great news is that it could continue for another stimulus check. Yes. Yesterday, Joe Biden and his press secretary said that they think the $1.9 trillion stimulus package amount is, at this point, really on the edge of not being big enough. And they said, we're not adverse to coming back and doing another stimulus package after this, setting up another stimulus check. Moreover, there's all indications they will use this process of the tow truck with the tow hitch again to get another stimulus check out the door without a single GOP vote needed to get it finalized. Big, great news. And then there was that strange minute with Nancy. <laughs> Old Nancy was back from 2020. During one of Joe Biden's conference calls with the House Rep Democrats, this time the House Democrats, before Biden got on the phone, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee interrupted the conversation to talk about redistricting. 
not what they were supposed to be on the phone about. They're talking about stimulus. So what did Nancy do? Did she yank the telephone code, call, telephone cord out from Representative Lee? Well, she basically did the exact same thing. She cut her off immediately, saying, stop it. This is about passing the budget bill with complete unity and stop talking. <laughs> uh, Nancy's keeping everyone in check once again. Meantime, are teachers going to get a check with no vaccine? The controversy is really heating up. One of the issues at hand is where will the stimulus be in regard to the vaccine distribution? On day one of the Biden administration and during his campaign transition time, he said he's gauging the amount of stimulus for you now, $1.9 trillion, based upon the reopening of the schools and the reopening of businesses in 30, excuse me, 90 days based upon 100 million people vaccinated in 100 days. First, we already know there's not enough, there's not 100 million doses available in 90 days. Two, we already know he won't be able to vaccinate 100 million people in 90 days. But overnight, Dr. Fauci appeared on broadcast news and was asked about this very issue. And he said that you, you need 70 to 85 percent of vaccination of the American people before we're back to normal. What's the current vaccination number? He says currently we're at about 2% of the U.S. population vaccinated. By all account, the stimulus package is too small and will need another stimulus package from Joe Biden because he won't be able to jumpstart things in 90 days as he so predicted. But that didn't prompt or block the CDC from issuing a statement this afternoon. Teachers back teaching without vaccination, it's a big issue. Joe Biden wants all teachers back in schools by the next 90 days. And yesterday, Gavin Newsom, the Democratic governor of California, went on social media and YouTube and slammed the situation saying, you are never going to see a teacher in the state of California back in schools until they are vaccinated. I'm not risking the lives of my teachers or risking the lives of my students. Students in California have not been in schools for nearly 10 months, and Gavin Newsom held the line saying, I'm not putting anyone back into schools until people are vaccinated. The teachers union and other teachers have urged for vaccination of teachers before they even return to work. And you must understand that young children are not eligible for the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. So that's also a concern. As 20% of the super spreaders in the United States are now 20 years or older, and there's concerns that young children in school could be super spreaders as well. So what did the Joe Biden's camp say this afternoon? Well, the head of the CDC came in and said, I think that teachers should be back in school and that you do not need to be vaccinated before you resume school in-person tutorials. Really controversial statement, as people don't agree with the CDC statement and are likely not to adhere to those CDC protocols saying to return to school without teachers vaccinated. Meantime, the Golden Globes made big history today. Live from Los Angeles, shortly before sunrise, the Hollywood Foreign Press announced the 78th annual Golden Globe nominations. And with it, it made history. Why? Because the first time in the history of the Golden Globes, three women were all nominated for Best Director of a Feature Film. No time in history have more than one woman been nominated in that category in a single year. The history was made by Regina King, nominated for One Night in Miami, Chloe Zoe in No Man Land, Emerald Fresnel in Promising Young Woman. They were joined by males David Fincher for Mank and Aaron Sorkin for The Trial of Chicago 7. The live broadcast will be February 28. Do you think LLA should cover it? Drop in the comments below. Mank led the nominations with six this year. The movie's about Citizen Kane and was co-written by Herman Mankiewicz. The film led Netflix to dominate the nominations at 42 for the day. With that, you're up to date. But right after this recording, I'm back with Third Stimulus. In Third Stimulus, I go over the items that are in the Third Stimulus package and why yesterday's announcement gave a big surprise as we saw not one, not two, but over three items in the Third Stimulus package we did not see coming. They include big grants. 
and assistance to people at home that you never heard coming. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and become a member. Thank you for joining us on LLA, and I'll see you next in just a few minutes with Third Stewart's Check and Third Stewart's Package.